Here's a little follow-up video to this 3.0 Eco Diesel. Here's what we look like all together. Got the cack tubes, air box, roll back here. Got a nice cute little turbo running across here. Got all the fuel lines, return lines. One thing I noticed when I was about to fire this thing up, I had to replace this middle injector right here because it was stuck, it was seized in the head. Went to program the injector and found out that the previous injector was not installed. Checked a couple other ones and the injectors were not programmed in the ECM. So it looks like somebody either replaced them, swapped them, I'm not sure, but now I gotta go and I gotta pull all the injector numbers. That little number right there. Okay, gotta get that number and I gotta program it in the computer so the computer can fine tune this beautiful engine. All these newer diesels, when it has external injectors like that, you gotta get that little code, you gotta enter it in the computer. So I gotta still do that, I gotta put the hood on Put the wipers on but the good news is this thing ran on friday got it running right before i went home had it running for about a good half hour it was time to go home so let's get a nice start on this thing right off the bat monday morning first start of the weekend Noisy little sucker. Sounds pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Happy to finally get this thing out of my hair. This has been quite the journey. As every part was an individual part, not serviced with any sort of set or a head gasket set or anything you had to part out every single part and gasket and o-ring from the dealer pictures and it took a good 15 times of ordering parts to get all the correct parts these fuel tubes right here you have to replace those anytime you take them off so they come in a nice yellow bag and it comes with the whole kit with all the hard lines for the pressure system so that was the only kit that came available for this engine. Everything else was parted out individually. Never done an engine that came that way. So here we are. Looks like I timed it correctly. There's one more tool that I talked about in my last video that you need. And it's for this cam right here, right on the front of this cam is this device about this big and it's for the PCV system. PCV system comes in here, comes out on this hose, dumps into the air box here, into the air going into the turbo. I'll show you that tool right now. That tool is a giant Allen socket. It's like a 5 8 this thing is a good two inches long. Let's roll around and see if we can find a part number. Basically that's the socket that you need to pull that off, to get the timing chain off. Sounds pretty good. The next one will be a lot easier. Thanks for tuning in to Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time.